guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers, and to those who are new. Happy to have you join us. Yeah, well, as I'm recording this and getting this up on the channel, we're still, uh, we've got a Scorpio moon. Mercury, your ruling planet, Gemini, and Mars are forming a square. So we could have tempers flare and communications pop off. Be careful. Um, and we also have that grand water trine. That's a, a nicer geometry, but it could have us in all the feels. So when we have all the feels combining with tense, argumentative communication styles, be careful. That grand water trine began on the 4th and goes to the 8th. So just want to let you know. All right, I'm going to start with Gateway of Light Activation Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you today. Ancestral Realm. Oh, I love this. Karmic Release, Healing the Lineage and Boundaries. Beautiful. In fact, I got another deck that I was going to use for this series of readings, The Stones. Um, I think it's called The Stones by... Um, Oh, um, oh, what is her name? Rebecca Campbell. Oh, and she's one of my favorites. But this gives you that sort of feeling of the ancestral realm, right? So karmic release, healing the lineage, and boundaries, right? Boundaries is sort of speaking to me for you right now for this reading, Gemini, or whoever you are watching, because of all... Uh, the mashup of Mercury and Mars and the heavy emotional energies of the Grand Water Chime. You heard it here. Okay. Uh, do keep in mind this is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Um, and, you know, as always, it, you know, readings can come through reversed. What that means is I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. I do offer private readings. Uh, there's always a link beneath every video, so you might need to scroll a little bit, but the link will take you to my booking page. I'm gonna pull the main spread, give you my general impressions, go back through with the clarifiers. Here we go. Empress. Yeah, here yeah, we're talking about you, Divine Feminine. What's crossing you here? Two of Cups. So we may have twin flame, powerful soulmate, at least vibes going here. There's a challenge and a connection, um, a struggle for a divine feminine. The root of the problem or an unconscious awareness. What's the path forward? What do we want? What, where are we going? Where is this headed? Um, yes, in the past, Ten of Cups, definitely feeling like we made it. We had it all um, on the path to our happily ever after. So in conscious awareness, Page of Pentacles. But now we're back to square one on some level. Um, feeling like things are maybe taking baby steps. And in the near future, no worries, um, Knight of Cups. So I sort of feel like we're hitting maybe a little hiccup and that happens at times. And I just told you what the astrology is. So, okay, cool, cool off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Gemini. It's gonna be okay. All right, let's go here. I feel like I, my little baby, he just came downstairs. He's a Gemini, and he's been crying all morning. <laughs> His name's Leo, and he's a Gemini, just so you know. Oh, King of Swords, yes. Hermit, okay, now I'm, feel, now I'm getting where you're going. It's hard to kind of stay grounded and keep ourselves together when we're dealing with someone who may be a little cool, aloof, distant, off the grid, not communicating, or if they're communicating, they may be a little icy. So I am I am feeling you here. I get it, okay? And that Queen of Pentacles energy from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new, welcome, so happy to have you here. Um, I'm pulling from what you can't see, which is either internal for you, which means it's in your psyche somewhere, so it's not really your focus, or it's playing out behind the scenes. But for you, it's like, I, I'm just trying, I just need to take care of myself here. I need to stay grounded, focus on my self care, because I'm getting nothing out of this person. All right, they're either 
um, very remote, inaccessible, um, not real approachable, giving you very little to work with. And so that's why the Two of Cups is the challenge because you're trying to hold this relationship together and you're being met with some, you know, distant energy. Two of Wands, the root of the problem or in your unconscious awareness, what's the path forward? I'd like to know. Page of Swords, Death card, Two of Swords, something has to give, something has to change. We're coming to a crossroads moment here. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Twos in tarot are always decisions and choices. But the Two of Swords is also now from the bottom of the deck again, we're looking at this internal, maybe some kind of inner knowing that we're reaching this moment where a decision's gonna have to be made, something's gotta give, something's gotta change. Cause I'm clueless here. What do they, what do they want? Where, where are we headed here? Um, the two of wands is always asking us what, you know, in a world of possibilities, what do we want? It's usually showing someone at the water's edge, you know, standing on a cliff, looking at the horizon, holding the globe in their hand. And the question lies in the palm of our hands, in a world of possibilities. What do we want? What path is likely to get us there? And then what do we need to set in motion so that it arrives? And the next card would be the three of wands, right? where we're now, we have the three of wands, we've manifested something's coming into shore, right? The ship's coming in card. So I feel like that's your curiosity is what, what does this person want? Because you know what you want. And that death card is talking about growth, change and transformation or something that needs to be left behind or change. Um, two of swords, crossroads. Decisions, decisions. Ten of Cups in the past. Right? I waited for this. I, I, man, I, I, I planted those seeds deep. I manifested that dream come true. It was nothing short of a miracle. Underneath is a hanged man. I didn't rush it. I waited I, like for some enlightenment here. I feel like this is definitely something that had fits and starts, right? Like you waited and there was motion and then there was inaction and there was a little stagnation and then it got going and you understood it better and you, you know, but it was definitely something that was born out of um, a long held dream. And then the dream, the wish came true, the dream, you know, the dream came true, the wish was granted and there was a lot of emotional um, a sense of completion, a sense of I made it, we did it, we've got it. And then whoosh, distance. And now it feels like you might be back to square one here. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I like you in your own reading here, Gemini, with the Knight of Swords. You're aware that we need to clear something up here. Um, Page of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. That Ace of Swords is, what's the truth of this situation? The Aces are gifts from spirit. And underneath is this sense of urgency. Like, we got to clear this up right quick because I don't want to go back to the beginning like, what do I need to learn? The Page of Pentacles specifically is about like kind of being a fish out of water here. I gotta learn something. There's some kind of new environment here. I need to understand it, see it clearly, get some truth around it. And that Knight of Swords underneath, and it's like, yeah, it's gotta happen quickly. The, the, the tricky stick here with this Knight of Swords is it can turn to temper. So be careful because I just told you Mars and Mercury, yeah. Um, and this is Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury. So you wanna watch your temper because it can flare. In the near future, Knight of Cups. There's this little message from the heart, something sincere, possibly an apology. Yeah, yeah, yeah all will be well. <laughs> 
Gemini, it's going to be okay. I love you. It's all going to be okay. Look, they're telling you I love you. It's all going to be okay. I'm telling you it's going to be okay. They're telling you they love you. <laughs> Just so we're clear. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Divine Masculine. All right? So, fret not, my friend. All will be well. <laughs> All right. So if you missed the October 2024 Love Tarot Monthly Energy Update that I think I did on October 2nd, I'm pretty sure, go watch it. I take the month week by week by week, and you're going to see exactly where you probably are right now. I did the Oracle first, then I did the Tarot, and then at the end, it's time stamped, you'll see the astrology for the month with the whole Tarot spread here, and it explains what you're going through and why, and where this probably lands is the end of the month, okay? It's all going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. So what's going to happen now is before I give you the astrology, I am going to go to the extended, and we're going to see everything from our emperor's point of view. Uh, really, how they're sizing up this connection, what's going through their mind, how they see you, think about you, feel about you, what their intentions are, so that you understand, like, this isn't all, you know, happening to you. It's There's a rhyme or reason here. We're going to get that. Um, and the links for that are below. Uh, option one is a monthly renewal. Option two is just the extended for this. And option three, as always, is the all access pass for everything. Okay. And um, if you've been enjoying my readings, if this one was kind of spot on and delivered and you haven't yet done so, please do subscribe below. That is what we're doing here. I come, I read, you say, yes, bingo, subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That is what makes me the happiest so um and also yeah i was gonna say something else but i forgot i gotta give you the astrology so you have the links to the extended we're looking at this person you're you, we have the empress and the emperor i'm feeling very strong twin flamey vibes we have the two of cups the ten of cups we have the two of cups twice in fact um, Empress and Emperor, Knight of Cups. We have some really beautiful energies here. Strong soulmate connection at the very least. Uh, the link to the extended. I, I, I'm talking again and again because I'm forgetting something and I know I'm forgetting something. All right, let's just do the astrology and call it a day, shall we? The Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra, the King of Swords, Aquarian energy, Virgo and the Hermit, Capricorn in our Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Death card is Scorpio. We have the Star is more Aquarian energy. Hangman is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Knight of Swords, as I said, is Gemini. Knight of Cups is Pisces. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And Aries and the Emperor. I'm headed to that extended. I'll see you there in a, se in a second. Bye.